stuff like that. So, as I talk real quick. All right. I'm rolling. Are you rolling? I can edit that part. All right. So, here we have Young Will. Um, and you can see he has cerebral palsy. Um, he's 18 years old. And you have this natural turnout of his leg that occurs. And just orthopedic assessing. We're trying to determine if this turnout is coming from the hip or if it's coming from the knee. So part of it, when you let the leg lay straight and relax it, relax, relax, it lays out. So we know that when it lays out, that's coming from the hip, foot could also be coming from the knee. The other part is determining if, if it's coming from the knee as in tibial torsion. It's bend the knee to 90 uh, degrees, bend the hip to uh, 90 degrees, uh. and then relax and see where the turnout is. And again, that's coming from the knee. So we got tibial torsion here. So I want to correct. But when I correct and internally rotate the uh. torsion, I feel the bicep, biceps femoris long head tendon uh, tighten here. Uh. So I know I need to uh. work on his hamstrings. So I've done some quadricep work using the rock blades and manual therapy by hand already on his left leg addressing the same issue and as you can see when I bend this leg and I relax his foot is straight up and down it does not rotate it out so I tractioned the tibial torsion to internally rotate it and hold it there did some positional release on the at the knee and positional release at the hip and his foot is sitting straight um, here and when I let his leg go straight. Now, again, he has cerebral palsy and most young children and individuals present with flexed hamstrings, contractures even in the belly of the hamstring. His leg is straight. Now, we don't have the additional 10 degrees of hyperextension, but we have a straight leg, which is going to be good now for his continued therapy at Next Step Atlanta to increase activation and increase strength and neural firing uh, uh, of his quadricep group, um, of his gluteal group, uh, to increase his ability to walk independently uh, or walk, walk using an assistive device rather than use his wheelchair.